Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the content of foramen lacerum. We are viewing the superior view of the floor of the skull. Let's do. This one is petrous part of temporal bone. Petrous part of temporal bone. This one is pterygoid process. Pterygoid process. When we view superiorly, we can only find a single canal. But when we view inferiorly, we can appreciate the two different canals. During life, this lower part of the foramen lacerum is filled with cartilage. This is carotid canal through which internal carotid artery and the sympathetic plexus pass through it. Lower part of the foramen lacerum is filled with cartilage during the life. We only have emissary vein and the meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery. In the upper part we have the internal carotid artery and the sympathetic plexus. We have greater petrosal nerve and the deep petrosal nerve from the sympathetic plexus join to form nerve of the pterygoid canal which leaves this foramen by entering into the pterygoid canal in the anterior wall of the foramen lacerum. This one is this is anterior anterior and this one is posterior this one is internal carotid artery internal carotid artery and sympathetic plexus sympathetic Plexus. Plexus is nothing but the network of nerves. These all are the content of foramen lacerum. This one is internal carotid artery and the sympathetic plexus. This one is meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery. This one is emissary vein. This one is nerve of the pterygoid canal. Greater petrosal nerve, deep petrosal nerve from the sympathetic plexus. This one is pterygoid process. These all are the bony parts and this one is petrous part of temporal bone. This one is carotid canal. Hope guys this video is useful to you. Guys subscribe my channel for the handy notes.